Mold, lead, leaks. Residents in the city's public housing buildings are hoping they can finally get these chronic issues addressed. Today, the U.S. Secretary of Housing and Urban Development toured some of these buildings here in New York. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner asked the secretary how she plans to make changes. A fan runs to dry out incessant leaking just one room away from where U.S. Secretary of Housing and Urban Development Marsha Fudge met with NYCHA leaders and residents at the Patterson Houses Community Center in the Bronx. This project was, was built in 1950, so they keep painting over what's on the walls and not, not doing anything else. More than 350,000 residents live in NYCHA buildings across New York City. One showed us mold taking over her bathroom. She says her 15-year-old son has asthma. A lot of work orders, you know, and my mind not like if I didn't put no tickets in. So they're closing the tickets out without doing the work. Without doing the work. So we asked Secretary Fudge, what do you tell residents who put in multiple service requests for mold in their bathroom, and they get closed and nothing gets done? HUD doesn't actually run public housing, but we do. We're partners. And so I'm going to be talking to our partners to talk to them about what is acceptable and what is not. Uh, and what I heard today is not acceptable. The secretary added that if the Build Back Better plan passes Congress, it could bring billions of dollars to public housing, including NYCHA. NYCHA's CEO cooking. says in the meantime, changes to management and operations are coming. What's uh, preventing the agency from completing service requests uh, in a timely manner? Uh, multiple problems. They range from the that, for example, you might have a gas leak. Gas leak shuts off the riser. The riser has asbestos. The asbestos has to be treated first. Residents say they told the secretary they want more of a voice among other issues. They're giving her a few months. What she's told us, her success is based on what she gets accomplished. It's a big start. In the South Bronx, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.